Hey Campaholics! Today we are going to change out the table that came with our 395M Momentum. Mainly because I don't like the way it's held up. Um, it's not the finish on it. It just hasn't held up the way I wanted it to, that I expected it to. And at the last rally we went to, we went into someone's rig and saw that they had a, what I call a pub table that fit perfectly here with three benches and I feel like that's going to serve us better. We'll gain a little bit more space, uh, more space for me to put my recliner over. I think it's just going to work better for us because right now, even with just two of us, two computers, it's a little, it's a little tight. So yeah, so here we go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're in the What she told you was, she said the word we, but there's no we in this. No. It's, it's all me who's going to do this work. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. Again, this is a Grand Design, a 2020 Grand Design Momentum 395M. And the dinette table is just not, just not holding up. And it really isn't that much surface space. This one, I feel like we're going to get more surface space. Whether we do or not. For all you engineers out there, I don't know. Well, now you're talking about cubic inches. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. I'm I'm gonna be happy with the new place. The chairs are already smashed up. We will be losing this storage. That is one thing we're gonna lose. But other than that, let's go. Come on. All we gotta do is get some screws and out and go. Yeah. When that go, he's gonna supervise. Look out! Please move. All right. In order to take this uh, dinette table off, you're gonna have to. Hit all these screws and take them out. Oh, there's a Florida bug. Uh, there's one up there. One up there. So I'm going to take the tabletop off first before I remove the bracket from the wall. Or right there. Uh, this is a. I'm going to take the top off first to make it lighter, make a lighter load, and then I'll go ahead and remove the brackets and remove it from the wall. Right in the eye, yeah, baby. That's the way to do it. So I said, what are you going to do with the tabletop? I don't know. I guess I'll ship it back home or put it on Facebook Marketplace or something. Sell it. I don't know. And then somebody told me they just took theirs and just used it as firewood. Hmm. That was interesting. So there's the insert. The actual, it's an actual insert. Just like that. Look at that. Takes a lot of load off. Go ahead and remove. All right, the frame up is ready to come off. Just like that. This is what's holding the frame to the wall of the RV. So there are actual uh, Phillips screws so we can get away with Phillips bit on that too. So that's good. And voila, that took all of maybe seven minutes to take that off. A game on on the missing. She's got, oh, I got to clean the windows now. I got to clean the screens. Yeah. I'm going to use my game's pride. Oh, that's not the right one. Hold oh. on, times. Time, time, times. Now has to clean the windows and the screens. So. Well, why not when we're having. Yeah, why not? Yep, delay I game. Mean, what are we using? We are using Gabe's. RV window cleaner with their um, micro cyber, micro cyber, micro cyber, micro cyber. Have another shot. Micro fiber. I did. I already had two. Yes. What I like about this stuff is it doesn't seem to streak, but you have to use the cloth. I have found that if I try to use paper towels, it doesn't work as well, which is fine because I don't waste anything. Wait till you see this pub table. This is going to be nice. All right, Missy's popping the screens back in. If you've never done this, it, it, 
can be a little intimidating because maybe you just don't know that it, they just pop right back in place. It doesn't sound, it never sounds very good. And they're in. Just like that. And you just pull this white tab to pull them out and they snap out. Snap That's out, it. snap in. All right, let's get the pump tape. Hold on, hold on, another delay in the game. Now we have to vacuum. Oh. Every other woman will understand. The vacuum we use in our RV is the Dirt Devil Swerve. I really like it. Dirt Devil Swerve, we just plug it in and, and it keeps and it the charged charges. up. Yep. So that's the one we've been using. Uh, you can find that on our Amazon Campaholic RV Supply Shop. Okay, come on. Now, now who's waiting on? Now we're ready? Okay. Now we're waiting on you. All right. <laughs> Insert pub table. Pub table insertion. Bar stool insertion. Look at that. Look at that. Seat for echo. And look at that. And look at the three fingerprint right there. Yep. There's a thumb. What the hell? Uh, I don't care. Mm. First time she don't care. I saw it last night. So we learned this from our friends. Give them a shout out. Pam and Randy. Pam and Randy Gross. We met at the Grand Design Rally. They had the same table and theirs, and we like, oh, that's really nice. So we gotta secure this down, which is not a problem for the handyman and me. All right, Cable Hawks, the desk is all set up, or not desk, what is this thing called? It is a- It's a table. It's a table, yeah, like a pub table. But it has two USB ports here, and two 110 outlets here, and plugs right into our outlet down here, so it works out great. It's a nice looking table. It's very comfortable. I kind of enjoy sitting up here, having dinner, being able to look out these grand windows, so, in our grand design. So this thing came from Kane's Furniture. It was $339, $49. Look at the floor space it creates by getting that dinette table out of here. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. And I love the additional floor space. That that little bit creates so much room mentally. Yeah. <laughs> mentally. Well, and when we do the we change out the flooring, it'll it's gonna make it look so much bigger. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the carpet and go with the existing flooring, put it on that slide for it. So all right, we'll see you in the next video.